What is going on, everyone? My name's Boyd. Your name is not. I'm watching Age of Mythology. You're also watching it. And what a fantastic time to be alive. Look, I did a different intro. I feel strange. Do you guys feel strange? I don't know, maybe? Spawning on the bottom of the map in the red color playing as Odin. His name is a soup. It's supposed to be super, but I'm Australian and I pronounce things the bloody hell way that I want to. All right. Okay. His opponent today in the blue color playing as Hades. Flavor of the month or what? Um, his name's Hell's Ravage. The map is Marsh. We already see relics on the map. Got no big jar of him, said he. Scales of Catubla Pass. This is the best of the best tournament. You're the best around. No, I'm not going to do it. Um, we've got more relics on the map. May as well have a look at them because we're here and we're bored. Kithra of Apollo. I can't say enough about how good this relic is. Quite easily... My favorite relic, possibly the best relic in the game, arguably, in some matchups. Obviously, there's better relics for certain gods, like, say, for example, uh, Heroes Move Faster is obviously the best relic for, um, for Loki. But we also have this one over here, Black Lotus, 10% villager food gather rate. Another exceptional relic, however, on Marsh, it becomes a lot less good. Um, okay, Hades, what, was it Odin? Or, or Thor, I can't remember. Okay, Hades versus Odin on Marsh. This is normally a really difficult one for the Greek players to win. However, sometimes life gifts you things. Sometimes life just goes, you know what, Hells? I'm liking you today. Let me just give you this gold mine um, that you can just take if you like. Just take it. Like, why not? Ares Rush. Ares Rush here with Hades. Matria style Ares Rush. So you put the temple forward. You go for a 415 advance time. Um, and uh, you scout with your scout to see that see it nice and early. Nice and early. Like, look at this. Imagine if you just... And then you win the game in five minutes. But not what's happening here. And I believe Hell's... Probably will go for a um, a 4.30 advance time, I guess. I don't assume he gets an early Ajax here unless he really wants to Kithra of Apollo. I mean, I would get the early Ajax for the Kithra of Apollo. I might even get it for Black Lotus as well, but definitely I would. But I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. Not sure at all. Now, Soup's throwing up his temple. I love the temple placement. Behind... Out of range of being sniped by a pesky uh, Cyclops Minotaur, whatever you want to call it. Nice play here from Masu. Wall segments around this tower are vital. So that's um, that's the one. It's the one. It's what you want. All right. Raven's coming out. Hell's doing his thing. We do see the Ajax is coming through, so... Oh, he's going... Oh, he's changed his mind. He was like, oh, do I want to get the... Uh... Wait, what? He's like, oh, do I want to get the uh, really fast farm? Oh, no, maybe the... No, no, I'm getting faster infantry train time. Negative 15% infantry train time does mean that hoplites will, will take... Is it two seconds less? Is it 13 seconds? Not sure. Not sure. Um, but interesting, but he's going through Athena and it looks like he will be going for an Athena rush. He sees the gold here, so that's perfect for him. Now the question is going to be, can a soup defend this? It's Marsh, fantastic map to defend Athena rushes on. Get a lot of extra food. Um, generally speaking, what you want to do though with um, 420 advance, it's so beautiful. There's the longhouse, there's the relic here. He's getting that, um, he's getting that black lotus here. But generally what you want to do is you want to move forward and eat these boar first and come back and eat the deer a little bit later because it's going to be difficult to eat this back hunt here. You can get these water buffalo fairly easily though, so maybe it's fine to 
go with the power push here and get the buildings up nice and fast. Let's see what uh, what Soup's going for. It's going for the raiding cavalry, so no real surprises there. We do see stable. What are you smoking, Hells? Stable Military Academy. This is not Atlantean. 1-1-1 one, one, one here. Against Norse? This is a no-no. The big advantage you get here with Hades is those Toxodes. If you go on three military buildings, double archery range military academy or double archery range stable. This is going to be probably... this The push that's going to come will probably be able to be defended. Because the army of Hells is just not going to be able Yo. to cut it against what... Um, Soup's gonna do. Soup should be able to hold this. He, sh he should also have this wall segmented. He should also be thinking about watchtowers. There's no second town center going up. He sees that at 545. Should know there's no second town center on the way. So he even sees it with the raven. So he knows there's a big push coming his way. At least he should. He should probably pick up this relic anyway. Scales could double pass. Good relic for the for the Valkyrie to, to have a little bit of a... Um, a moment there, just yeah, it's it, it's a bit of a help against the Minotaur, I guess. Um, but you know, it's fine. Going to be retreating with his Ursa away from the uh, the units. He's not moving out with all his army. His army's not together. Hell's going to be struggling here. I have to admit. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes though. House is in decent positioning here from Soup. Um, nice and protected. Still no wall segments, but maybe it's going to be okay. Maybe it's going to be okay. Let's check out um, Hells' population here. 55 of 55. House is coming up. Completely fine. No idle villager time, so it's totally fine to have the delay of the Toxodes there. Nah. And now Hells making his move forward. Question is... Is Soup going to have upgrades? No, he stopped building units. Really? That's wild. Does he... I don't know if he gets Heroic Age here. Like if Hells makes any... This is just some peculiar decision making. I'm not going to lie. This is a three, three longhouse semi-fast Heroic from Soup against a one town center Athena Hades. Who's not attacking you? I guess that's why you do it. Nice raid here. This, these villages are in the wrong spot. Oh, beautiful push up here as well, but nice defense from Hells holding on. We do see the dead villages. There's medium raiders. Is he starting more production? No, he's getting thundering hooves. Is he starting? I am so question mark moment here because I just have no idea what's going on. Like both these players are incredibly good players doing stuff that I've never seen before. And I, I just have to question the validity of these strategies that are currently being implemented right now. Like if he was, if, if Soup was like, all right, I'm going to cut army. I'm going to get medium raise. I'm going to get, okay, he, that's what he's doing. He just forgot to start them again. Okay, I was going to say, if Super is doing this to, and then starting the Raiders again, fine. Yo. Fine. Super Yo. makes sense. Take it all back. Super is, Super is bl bloody brilliant. Hells, on the other hand, I'm still, still waiting to see it. Where's the timing attack happening? Do these units cut it? Are the Hippocon enough to help against these fully upgraded, beautiful Raiding Cavalry here? Has the delay... No, he's just built a couple of units and he's building the armor and he's... I'm so confused. Okay, well, we'll see if it works out for him. He's um doing his thing. I almost think that it would have been better for... um. This is something that I think that a lot of... Well, I mean, if you're not getting attacked, right? To take, uh, to take these dwarves over to this gold mine when you hit the classical age, if your opponent's like not attacking you like this, and then you have the gold mine in your base to fall back on. He's just going over to this gold mine. It's totally fine. The army's very immobile. 
I do see some raids coming in. Yo. Looks like Super has missed the big raid of four villagers here, but he will get these three, possibly kill them all. In fact, he does. Nice path blocking here. Going to get four villagers as well, as one villager was randomly on that temple gathering favor there. Really nice play. We do see that Hells has spotted this location uh, being a just gone, so he has to go and find where the gold is, but Scardi is incoming. If this was a Zeus army, I wouldn't be surprised to see Hells put the uh, put the big attack onto the town center here, but he's not going for it. Instead, going after the temple here. Uh, and Soup's like, yeah, don't care. You're taking more damage than the temple costs, right? If he loses two units here, then totally fine. Oh, Kithra of Apollo and Black Lotus up for the taking now. The Hursa gets sniped here. Nice play from Hells, forcing Soup to come back. But Soup is 100% mythic, a heroic age now. He can bring, come back with these units. He's getting a lot of snipes on the straggler units over here. Hells turning around does get a nice pick off on this radar. If he does get it killed, he does manage to snipe it. Now he's coming over here. We do see a Frost. Does get every one of those units in it. Let's see if uh, Soup can make this work or not. Sort of, I think what the plan should have been here for Soup is to get heavy cavalry here. He gets heavy cavalry out of one of these military bags instead of, or so, so one of these longhouses, instead of the hill fort. That hill fort's in a really weird position, but heavy cavalry here. And I'm pretty sure he wins this fight, but without it, restoration? Maybe Hells can hold on here. All this army over here. He does lose all of these yeah. units very quickly when it pops out, but Hades Shades will start popping out, I assume, very quickly. We'll see. Nice snipes by Super going after the villagers here. Still has a restoration, but I don't know if it's enough. The army's fighting this. Hells could have got some big value out of a restoration here, but he's, he's not taking it. Instead, he's retreating here. Not not sure when he wants to when he wants to move in. And there we go. He does bash away at the uh, at the raiding cavalry there, trying to take them down. There's the restoration. Super 97 population. Hells at 95 population. Where's the? Oh, he didn't get the free frost giant because the temple was sniped. Really, really smart play actually by Hells then. I thought he was being silly by taking it down, but, you know, big brain. Really big brain. But it doesn't matter, because Soup is uh, Odin, and Odin's obviously just way better than Hades. What can I say? I told you so. My tail is just correct. Soup has managed to completely crush Hells' army here. The classical army of Hells, not enough now that Huskull coming in. The fight's still going on. This Minotaur needs to be dealt with. There's no no, uh, no, no Hursa here. It's a big problem. I mean, sort of a big problem, but if you have the Frost Giants coming out, which he should, he finally does, yes. There is the Hades Shade follow-up here. Got all these Hades Shades coming in and help out. I believe these get upgrades. I think you can up I'm not sure if you can upgrade them with line upgrades like militia. But if you compare them to a hoplite, 110 HP versus 115 HP. 20% hack armor versus 30% hack armor. 7.2 damage versus 8 damage. So that they're, they're they're very, very close to a hoplite in terms of how much they can help. But they have no they're, they're super strong against strong axemen. Strong axemen don't get a bonus against them, I think. Yeah, they don't. It's pretty insane. These these AD shades do shut down throwing axemen pretty nicely, to be honest. But the push just too late for Hells, too bizarre with the Hepcon. It's looking like Soup just wins this way too hard. No second talent center. Probably just go Mythic Age through tier here to just win the game. We'll see if he goes for it. He's got a lot of food in the bank, a lot of gold in the bank. Soup moving forward. He's like, I, I like the idea of. Well, okay, Hells just resigns. 
go. As the raids come in. I was going to say, I like the idea of if you are one town center in the classical age to rush the mythic age pretty much every time as Norse. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. But um, the game's over. GG, well played by Soup. Like, I mean, this game was over when Hells was lost here and he probably should have resigned then, but I think he was just like, maybe I can come back, but nope. Um, this was just like game gifted Hells like this game on a silver platter. And I was like, hey, Hells, would you like this game? Take Take it. And again, and then Hells is like, nah, I got this. Let me let me show you how it's done. And let's not abuse the fact that this gold mine's out in the middle of nowhere, and then an Ares Rush would win this game instantly. But he, he did this weird thing with the with the Hippocon. Hippocon don't have any utility against Norse at all. Um, the only thing they do is sort of defend the Toxodes a little bit because they path block a little bit better than um, Hoplite. So that's kind of it. Killboy. But it's just like so confused. If he goes Hoplite Toxodi here instead of the Hippocon, maybe he even wins this fight over here with re with the Restoration. Without the Hippocon, you know? Like he has more units, more Hoplites. He'll be able to afford to get medium infantry. And, and maybe he even just wins here after the Frost. I don't know. It's possible. But he doesn't. And uh, and Soup gets the first game. If you enjoyed this game, please consider hitting the follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTubes, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next game.